very good welcome and thank you so much for always tuning in to our programs, liking and sharing. Uh, we've been running a series on parenting every Saturday and we have uh, been doing on the effects of fatherhood in parenting. And you know what? We've discovered what an amazing responsibility that lies on the shoulders of the fathers. God created the man first and later we see the woman being brought forth. Then 1 Corinthians chapter number 11 again comes out very clearly that women came from the men and not the men from the women. So we see a co-partnering in matters to do with parenting. The men are involved and the women are involved and none of them is free from each other in matters marriage and even in matters uh, parenting. What are the effects of fathers in parenting? What is it their responsibility? One, we have discovered that fathers give identity to their own children. There are so many psychosocial uh, challenges, there are so many psychosocial implications onto uh, parenting effects of the fathers. Children that have been nurtured well by their fathers and have been able to enjoy the warmth from their fathers. They are well rounded. They have a very self high esteem. They are confident in nature. They have a good IQ. Their intelligence is amazing. There is something that is so powerful when fathers are involved in parenting. And the opposite again is the same. Children that have not been able to enjoy the fatherhood presence uh, have identity issues. They have things to do with uh, their development is challenged in one way or the other. If you're a single mom listening to me, look for a man that your children can look up to as a father figure. Look for an uncle. Look for a pastor in the church. Let them enjoy the covering of fathers. Do fathers matters? Yes, they do. And I believe that's why first God created the man. I believe that's the reason why when Jesus is teaching the disciples on how to pray, he asks them to pray, our father who art in heaven. Because the fatherhood brings a relationship that establishes the identity and the confidence of the children even as they develop. Children that have a good relationship with their father, they socially connect and relate with people in a very healthy manner. Did you know that girls look up to their own father to be able to emulate and look up to a man who can take care of them the way their father is doing? So if you are a bad father, you are setting up your daughter to in the hands of a bad man. If you are a parenting boys, boys again, they model the behavior of their own fathers. They look at their fathers as their own heroes. So if you're an abusive father, your son will be an abusive husband to someone or an abusive, he will be abusive in his relationship uh, with the other people out there. In other words, we are saying fathers influence the destiny of their children. Fathers influence who their children become. And this is very clear from the life of Eli and his son. Hoffin and Phinehas depicted and documented in 1 Samuel chapter number 2. God calls the sons worthless because the father was a passive father and was not able to take care of his own children in the godly way. And up to today, men struggle with passivity, which is the greatest enmity to masculinity. And I pray that as you purpose and intend to parent in the right way, you will focus on God. How do you do that? One, focus on God to teach you on how to have a father's heart. God, being our father, he is able to influence your way of doing things. If only you can submit yourself to him and allow him who knows how to father teach you how to do it. In his fathering, the son, Jesus Christ, he offered affirmation, approval, and acceptance to the son. No wonder we see the confidence that is in the Lord Jesus Christ because of the hand of the father in the development of the son, Jesus Christ. You know what? When you get involved in the life of your children, they will have an amazing confidence. And you know how you could be telling me, Pastor, I've not enjoyed what you're asking me to give. That's the reason why you need to connect with God the Father and connect with other men that have been able to do it right, who can nurture and teach you into doing it the right, 
the right way. And what else do you need to do to your children for them to be able to enjoy good and godly fatherhood? Offer, offer the right governance, offer the right structures for the family. Lead them with a vision. Let it be clear. Where is the family going? What is it that you're looking from the children to become? Make sure that as a father, you have offered a direction. Also, the other thing that we have discovered is that you can never parent your children well without taking care of their mother. Children are interconnected to the fathers and the mothers. And where there is a good relationship in between the fathers and the mothers, the children are well balanced emotionally and they feel and enjoy an amazing, an amazing protection. What else do you need to do? Make sure you do not provoke your children to anger. Don't provoke them to anger. Ephesians chapter 6 from verse number one up to verse number four is talking about fathers not provoking their children to anger. And how do you manage this? By making sure you govern them with kindness. Teach them to walk in righteousness. Offer them the godly governance. Model the right behavior for your children.